Hey everybody, this is Brett and I just wanted to make a video because I'd like to share some things with you and uh, kind of cut loose on some of my thoughts that I need to, to get out and it really is beneficial for me health-wise to do these videos and I hope it is for you too. But um, I'm up in my massage room and it's my little sanctuary to do my healing for myself as well as my clients. I just did one massage today. It was a peaceful, peaceful day for the most part, other than a roommate that's causing me some grief, but I'm kind of used to it. Not too big of a deal. I've had good ones and I've had bad ones as most of you have. <laughs> But anyways, I come up here and I bring all my healing tools. And I'll show them to you here. I have a good hairbrush that feels really good. This is a wooden bristle hairbrush, a bass wood bristle hairbrush. And I just like to brush my head because I know it's stimulating healing energy to my brain. And it feels really good. It's helping these meridians that are on the side, these Chinese acupressure, acupuncture meridians, to move that energy that gets stagnated. This is largely the gallbladder meridian. And um, so, yeah, if you're somebody that's eating too much fat because you're a new vegan, definitely do some of this and stimulate that gallbladder meridian. And... Uh, so here's a facial brush, Bernard Jensen Products, facial brush, brush. Bernard Jensen was one of the pioneers of uh, the healing movement here in America, right along with Paul Bragg and Jack Lane and a few others. And uh, his products live on, his brush, his complexion brush, and his skin brush. And I'm just going to do my thing here and talk about some various healing things that I've been getting into lately. So I'm being challenged by a roommate that just needs a lot of polarity. And she'll, you know, want to push my buttons. And so what I need to try and do is just not push them back. <laughs> Because I don't want the polarity. I want peace for the most part. Although sometimes you'll see me creating some polarity in the videos. And um, largely it's just me trying to release, release my anxiety about frustrations from things like people that won't build houses logically or people that won't eat logically or whatever people are, are not doing that I personally think is just plain stupid. But, you know, the universe has its own ways, and I'm just one being. And when it comes down to it, I don't know squat. And I need to realize that and just chill. So, whatever people need to do, whatever gets them through the night, it's all right. It's all right. Now, for me, I need to do these regular healing sessions. And that includes this skin brushing on my face with this complexion brush that you can buy online from various places. And then with this body brush. And I have one in the shower, too. Now, I'm doing a lot more dry skin brushing these days and less stripping with soaps because I'm not doing near as much cleansing as I used to. And you can tell that I'm getting somewhat healthier, but it took a long, long time, a lot of years of cleansing and healing before I could get to this point. And I've got still quite a bit of really deep cleansing that when I'm ready, I'll do some long fasts, water fasts or juice fasts. Not to that point yet, 
but my body will let me know when it's time or maybe I'll just feel mentally or emotionally that it's time. Maybe I'll get some clues from the universe. It's really so huge to listen to people. And they have something to say. Um, clues from songs that will just magically come into your life, maybe at the grocery store, as I've mentioned in other videos. Uh, maybe an email or two. And, you know, try and tune in to the unusual things that just happen to happen. Like, I'll tell you what. Today, I was at Green Life, and I was kind of looking around in the produce section, wondering what I should buy. And all of a sudden, a bunch of broccoli fell off of the rack right there, you know. And a bunch of it, about six, seven heads of it, fell off onto the floor. <laughs> and, and I just, you know, you may consider that superstitious, but I don't think that, that anything is a coincidence. Nothing's a coincidence. And you really have to listen to the universe. And so I grabbed a couple of heads of broccoli and I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. That actually does sound pretty good. So, um, you have to not be too judgmental on yourself. Uh, sometimes you'll get something from somebody uh, well, somebody will say something to you, and you have to kind of analyze it. Analyze it for what it's worth before you go and get too down on yourself and take it personally. You don't want to take everything personally because, you know, the truth is that there are a lot of stupid people out there. There's a lot, there are a lot of deranged people out there. And so, um, Sometimes these things are tests of our own character. Test, testing, testing to see uh, our own judgment, our own character, and our own intuition. To know whether it, it was true that we were in the wrong, or whether this person is just trying to protect themselves and stay in denial. So, um, yes, it's good to get feedback and change when necessary, but not to always jump to conclusions. Now, this is a Theracane, and I'm going to use it on myself. But I'm going to use it with a shirt on because I like it to slide. And I don't like to slide the plastic on my skin. These things are plastic. So I'm going to search for the sore spots, also known as trigger points in massage therapy. Knots. Okay, right there. You get a hold of it really good and put an uh, adequate amount of pressure and just hold it for a few minutes and breathe. Always remember the breath. Whether you're focusing on calming the mind with meditation or doing some self-massage Whatever it may be, always remember to focus on the breath. <sighs> so now I'm going to work on the subscapularis, or the infraspinatus, excuse me, for you anatomy gurus the infraspinatus. 
referring to below the spine of the scapula. And there's a spot right there that's always very sensitive. It's an acupressure point. It's a trigger point. It's a, there's a nerve there. And when the muscles get tight in that area, it affects that nerve. It's just a button, if you will, to simplify it, to simplify this, what I'm doing here. It's a button. So you want to push that button that's sore, and that will help to release the tension in that area. You know, I have learned that no matter what it is in this life that we're doing in regards to holistic healing, there is always a certain amount of mm, discomfort or some pain that we have to endure to be able to get to a higher level. And that's why they created that little saying, no pain, no gain. Now there's good pain and there's bad pain. And the good pain is up to a certain point. You can endure so much and then it's time to stop. And if you don't stop, if you just keep going, then you're going to injure yourself, you know, you're going to, you're going to create uh, some kind of a long-term injury and that could be mental, physical, spiritual, or emotional. And that reminds me of something that I'd like to show you. Um, human beings have only so much, can only heal so fast. And I'm going to do a little drawing here on the board. Okay, so this is the rate that you can heal. And some people may be able to heal faster, at a steeper pace, faster, for whatever reason. And other people may have to heal very, very slowly. And it takes a lot longer for these people to heal, for whatever reason, because Maybe they have weak organs or a weak mind or whatever. But <clears throat> you're able to heal so fast and, and if you push it, if you push your healing in for this week, then you can get to here and then that's it. That's it. And then you better take it easy for a little while. And these are cycles of healing. Uh, if you push it again, and you go beyond your limits, like that. You go beyond your limit. Then, then you blew it. You screwed up. You went past your threshold here for healing. And then it's going to take you longer to recover. So you want to push it as hard as you can, but you, you need to know when it's time to... Oops. You need to know when it's time to stop and take it easy. And so, that's why uh, that's why you need to listen to your body and really tune in so that if you're doing a fast, if you're exercising, if you're going to gatherings and you're, you're connecting with people, you're talking with them, you're holding their hands, you're meditating with them, whatever it is, you know, you have a threshold, you have a maximum capacity for how much of these things that you can do and you may be doing a combination of things. And um, so I showed you this and so you just need to Keep, a, keep an eye on yourself and um, know exactly how far you can go and then as soon as you're done, then stop and rest and take it easy. So, this is my 
These are my yoga bolsters, and it's really good to just lay on them on the floor. And I'll try and get this camera right on there. Good. So this is a spine bolster. And you put your sacrum butted up against the bottom of it, and then you put the neck pillow under there. And you just try and relax your body over it and let the muscles completely melt over it. And it's really firm. Most of the yoga bolsters out there are just foam and they're squishy and they don't support your body at all and they do very little for you. But these have buckwheat holes in them. Let me get you a little closer. So these have buckwheat holes in them and they're packed really firm and so they are firm. And you can just lay in Shavasana and try and totally relax your body. Once again, breathe as usual. So usually I'd spend a good 20 to 40 minutes or even more doing this since I'm making a video. I just wanted to show you how it works and then move on to something else. So this tennis ball is an incredible tool for people with sore low backs and the reason being is that what you do is you put these under your glutes and you release you do some self massage under your glutes while you're lying on the ground and the tennis ball is firm enough that it, it massages your glutes and that releases the tension in that area back there which is largely responsible for a sore low back, sore low back muscles. And it's just having to do with the anatomy and all the tendons connecting at the top of the iliac crest. And when you get a lot of tension in one area of your body, then it transmits out and the, uh, the areas right next to those areas are also going to be sore. So let me show you how this works briefly. So you just take the tennis ball and you put it under your glute like that and you lift this knee, you lift your opposite knee up so that you can rotate your bod and move it around on the sorest spots. And once again, no pain no gain. So get it right on the piriformis muscle right there. And then just move it around to wherever it's the sorest and allow the weight of your own body to heal your body. Very simple. Okay, so you do that for 10 minutes per side and then you're, you know, a lot of people sit for a living. People sit for a living and so their butts are going to get tight and sore and that's going to make their low back sore and even more things can get sore too. So that little 99 cent or less tool is quite a tool. So, um, let's see. Now, this, this is a foam roller. This is a piece, a five inch piece 
of a foam roller that came off of this bigger piece. I just cut it off with a wood saw. Bought it from Banner Therapy for $25, I believe. And uh, you can find them online, Banner, B-A-N-N-E-R, Therapy. And uh, the white colored ones are the hardest. The blue are the medium firmness. And the black I don't recommend, the dark gray, black, those are too soft for most people. You may start out with the blue one, which is what I did. Now I've kind of moved up to the harder white one because I've conditioned my back muscles. And it's just a great tool. Um, watch my video, How to Craft Your Own Back. It's probably the video that I have that has more hits on it than any other video. It's got like 145,000 hits. So I'll show you how you use this. And you might want to just start out with the full roll to roll on, but with the smaller one, you can roll it in between your shoulder blades. And there I go, I cracked. My back cracked. And that just really helps to release, this helps to release those vertebrae that are stuck. And when you get vertebrae that are stuck, you're going to have a really uncomfortable feeling. Uh, it's just going to not feel good at all and you can tell. You'll get to the point where you can tell that your back needs to be cracked. Oh yeah. And I could not do this a couple years ago because I wasn't used to it. But now I can actually arch over this and touch my sacrum to the floor and my head. And so my back has gotten a lot more flexibility and it's just a lot more, uh, there's a lot more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a lot more flexible. <laughs> there's a word I was looking for but I can't think of it. Um, conditioned is a good word. And so, uh, let's see, those are most of the, t oh, self-massage, self-massage, I got my bowl and I put some oil in there, make sure that that oil is unrefined, don't eat oils that are unrefined, or that are refined, eat only unrefined oils, coconut, olive, sesame, you can also buy safflower in an unrefined state to cook with and you can also buy peanut oil in an unrefined state and it will always say unrefined on the bottle. I buy this coconut oil by the gallon because I do massage with it but I also take it down to the kitchen to use in cooking. It's extra virgin and it's usually coming from the Philippines or from uh, India, not India, but Thailand. Oftentimes it comes from Thailand or somewhere in the, the Asian countries down there. So, uh, do self-massage. I have lots of self-massage videos. Please watch them. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for joining me.